meeting, the prepared speaker session. Coming, uh, the first, our first speaker today is Yavalia Riona. She studies in class 7 in the St. Michael's Academy, where uh, she, told, she has a lot of hobbies, one of which is reading. Before I call her up to the stage, I would like her evaluator, Yav uh, sorry, Toastmaster Narasimhan, to read her objectives. Thank you, good morning. Uh, good evening, uh, Yavalia's Toastmasters and guests. Yelena is giving her speech from Competent Communication Manual 2 and the topic of the speech is Organize Your Speech and the objectives of the speech are Select an appropriate outline which allows listeners to easily follow and understand your speech Make your message clear with supporting material directly contributing to that message Use appropriate transitions when moving from one idea to another and create strong opening and conclusion Timer, please know the time is 5 to 7 minutes Over you, Yelena, all this time Please join me to welcome Yavali Ariona. Yavali Ariona, USD at Perspectives, USD at Perspectives. Yavali. Can you repeat that name? Thank you. Yavali Ariona, USD at Perspectives. USD at Perspectives. I'm oh, sorry, just at Perspectives, Yavali Ariona. <laughs> that you sometimes have control over is perspective. You don't have control over your situation, but you have a choice over how you view it. Good morning, respected Toastmasters, and my dear Gavilia, fellow Gavilias. My name is Riona, and today I am going to put forward a few ideas which may change your outlook of life to my topic, Just Add Perspective. First and foremost, what does perspective mean? Perspective means a particular point of view or a way of regarding something. When you're in a tight situation and don't know what to do, perspective helps. At this point, you have two choices. One, to stay, stay in the same position and two, to look brightly on the situation. What do we normally choose? Do we look at trouble and straight in the eye with a cheerful face? Or do we just get frustrated? Most of us normally get frustrated, but let me tell you a miraculous story of a little girl whose optimism encouraged me to pick this topic. How many of you here have read the book Pollyanna? No one? But that's okay. I'll narrate the story to you. <laughs> so, this story is about a little girl who is an orphan and who has just moved to a new place to live with her aunt. <coughs> the story goes on to show how she looks at everything with great perspective and how she handles everything with her optimism. She transforms the life of everyone around her. The secret to this is that she plays a game called the glad game. Let me tell you how, how to play this game. The girl plays the game by just taking a problem and searching for a funny or bright side of the situation. Let me give you a few incidents of how to play this game. She, a few questions that she asks are If you ask for a doll and get a pair of crutches instead, what will your perspective be? Her answer is You can be glad that at least you don't have to use the crutches. Another question that she asks is If you don't like your name, what will your perspective be? Her quick response is you can be glad that at least it isn't Hepzibah or something worse than that. This is how Pollyanna played the game and slowly taught the whole neighborhood to play it. They started living new lives, new and joyous lives. We too can implement perspective in our day-to-day -day lives. If I lose a running race, my perspective would be that at least I was healthy enough to take part in the race. And even in the 
movie Avengers Endgame that most of you would have watched, it showed the perspective of the Avengers. Even though all their hopes to save the world were dashed, they formed a new perspective and succeeded. Let me not forget one of the common stories of the ant and the elephant. Once, a hunter was chasing an elephant through the woods. The, on its way, the elephant met its friend, the ant. The ant asked, what's the matter? The elephant said, oh my god, a elephant is a hunter is chasing me. Please help me. The, elephant, the ant said, don't worry. He said graciously, you can just hide behind me. Imagine the elephant's reaction. From this way, we know that perspective has a funny side to it. Coming to my daily routine, if I want to watch the television and my sister forces me to watch her favorite TV program, Dora 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 the Explorer, she, I can just tune my perspective to the fact that at least I get to watch something on TV rather than complete my assignment. <laughs> Speaking of assignments, let me give, me give you one to check how many of you have been listening to my speech. What will your perspective be if you lose your favorite watch? Anyone wants to? Raise your hand if you want. At least you didn't lose your life. Whoa. Anyone else? I have another one at home. <laughs> That's so awesome. All of you have actively been listen, listening to my speech, I guess. So do you know that perspective also reduces stress and anxiety to a great level? It helps you to come be more united as a team. We can work to get a better with perspective in our lives. Now, since I think you've all gathered a bit of information from my speech, let me just say one thing. Under any situation, if you are caught in a problem, just relax, take a deep breath, and just add perspective to your thoughts. The rest will flow on immediately. Now before I end my speech, I would like to conclude with a short poem written by me. How many of you would like to hear it? <laughs> That's great. So here it goes. Just remember, if you are angry and sad and don't know what to do and to deal with your problem, you have not a clue. Just remember one word, perspective. P-E-R-S-P-E-C-T-I-V-E -E -E. and the rest will come to you. Thank you. That was an amazing speech. I, I had a lot of perspectives during this speech. <laughs>